Hello everybody, it's time for gratitude happy hour. Hello, hello. I'm just going to put the message out that I am on here and see who we get on this wonderful Sunday afternoon. How are you doing? How are things going in your life? I'm hoping that you're doing well and that you're going to come spend a few minutes with me. I'm just going to share this out. Hello, somebody jumped on. Hi, Rial, how are you? Hi, Erin, I'm just posting the link in the, the thread. We have a wonderful group called the Zen Collective and I just appreciate all of you so much in my life. Thank you for being here. Okay. Hi, Wendy. Thank you for coming on today. Happy Sunday to all of you. And we'll see who else jumps on here. It's been an amazing Sunday for me. I hope your day has been good. Wherever you may be and whatever you're doing, make the most of it. You know, make life fun. Make it an adventure. Wherever you're at, life can be an adventure, right? Hi, Norma. I love you. Mwah. Thank you for coming on here. Hi, Angela. Hi, Sharon, my wonderful friend across the big pond. I'm so glad you came on here today. I need you to lift my vibration. <laughs> I come on to lift other people's vibration. And Sharon is such a dear, dear, dear heart friend that always makes me laugh. And when I'm not having a good day, she posts things that make me laugh. And I appreciate that, Norma. I appreciate your energy. I'm so glad you all are here today. I come on here every day, but I missed yesterday. I did because I was doing an event with Joseph Labruto and it started at five o'clock. I had planned on going on early but I got really, really busy in the preparation for the event and I didn't get to do it. And then by the time I got home, it was really late and I was drained. So I apologize for missing yesterday, but I do want to share who the gratitude person was yesterday because I love this guy. Yesterday, the gratitude person was Peter Coyle. And Peter, I hope that you get a chance to watch this one today because I want to give a shout out to you and how wonderful you are. And you usually do pop up on the lives. So I, I appreciate you. I appreciate your energy. And thank you for being in my life. I appreciate all of you that come into my life on this journey. You know, we, um, we come here and we draw our soul family to us. Hi, Sevi. Thank you for coming on. I love you. I love you. If you all are not familiar with Sevi, please get in touch with, with her and just an absolute beautiful soul. Absolutely beautiful. I love you, Sevi. And yes, Peter is awesome sauce. Absolutely. So every day I talk about who's in my gratitude book. Who did I put in the gratitude book today? And, you know, I have this book that's on Amazon. It's called Gratitude Vase. And every day I put a name in there. That's what it's for. It's a journal. So I just open it up and I pick a random person and put their name in here to receive a love note from me. I send them out a note that says, I am grateful for you today. And I usually hear back from them right away because it's something we do that lifts the vibration. It really does. It, you know, when we want to be seen in this life, in this presence. We want others to see us. And this is one way to do that. This is one way for you to say, I see you. Thank you. Thank you for being on my journey. You're part of my soul family. We call our soul family to us right when we incarnate we put out that message from our soul and other people that we contracted with they just gravitate to us and we find our soul group we find our soul family and so you know those that, that we do that for today it's Kylie Ray I love Kylie she is a new friend that is so on fire 
If you don't know her, please get to know Kylie Ray. She's amazing. Hi, Karen Palmer. Thank you for being on here and thank you for sharing. Thank you to all of you who shared. Oh, thank you, Sevi. I love you. I love those words. Thank you. Uh, yes, Sharon, I will definitely find that and do that. I think you were in July. So I'll, I'll go back and find, oh, and Gizzy is reminding me as well. <laughs> All right, Giz, that's my cat Gizmo, for those of you who are not familiar with him. Uh, mommy just rushed in the door and got online, so he's not real happy about that. But also, he feels the energy, and he gives me confirmations when I say things. So that's Giz. You all will learn to love him if you don't know him already. Hi, Irene. Hi, Ramin. Thank you for coming on. Roxanne, it's so good to see you all. Yes, Gizzy the Great. <laughs> that's going to be his new name, Sharon, Gizzy the Great. Because he thinks that he is all of that. <laughs> and he really is. He's my little love ball. He talks a lot. He, he uses his voice. He makes himself well known to everyone. Hi, Ruth Bradford. Thank you for coming on. So I really wanted to come on here today. Hi, Val Meyer. I'm so glad you got to catch this. Oh, absolutely, Sharon. I will get you that. I have lots of pictures with me in Gizmo, <laughs> so I will post some for you. Um, but I really wanted to come on today. I've had a, an excellent day, absolutely excellent. I was at a psychic fair. I was able to do readings for people and bring through messages from the angels. Um, yeah, it was really an amazing, amazing day to be in that atmosphere with like-minded people. You know, sometimes we just need to surround ourselves with others who are on the same page we're on and have all of that vibration just lift up instead of constantly being the one that puts it out there. It's good to, as a collaborative, to come together, uh, you know, where we can hug each other, we can touch, we can share our smiles and our love. So it was a really good day in that respect, and I'm glad that I was able to do that. Hi, Ryan. Thank you for coming on. Ryan Aguilar, another beautiful, beautiful spirit. I just love you. I love your energy. Okay, so one of the reasons that I definitely didn't want to miss doing this today is I wanted to thank you all. I want to thank all of you for your love, and thank you for your support. You know, I went through some really rough times last week, and, and thank you for making my day by sending me private messages and, and notices and for just being there, just being there. You are my soul family, and I love you. And I haven't even shared with you that yesterday was the anniversary of my mother's passing. And I was at the event that I mentioned, and it was a, an event where messages were being brought from those who had passed on. Well, I didn't get a message there, but I could feel the energy. I knew that my mother was, her, um, her beautiful spirit was around me. And I left there and I thought, you know, I really would just like to hear something. I would just like to hear something. Because as humans, we do. We like to hear something that, you know, we're, we're still in touch with those that leave us behind. So today, I went to this, um, this spiritual fair that I had, I go to every month. And I had said, okay, I'll, I'll keep my commitment. I'll go. Well, while I was there, I met this wonderful lady. She was actually the very first person that I did a reading for, and her name was Thelma. Thelma is my mother's name. And when that happened, when she came up to me and she introduced herself, I was just like blown away. I was in awe. I'm like, oh my God, thank you, angels. Thank you, angels, for that wonderful message. That was a message for me, you know, that they were bringing her spirit through for me to see and this wonderful lady that came to me to talk to me. So yeah, absolutely. We get messages when we ask. We were responded to when we put out that energy of, I would love to hear from this loved one, or I would love to know that that loved one is okay. 
and we put out that energy and ask and all of a sudden there it is there it is right in front of our face you know it's like here's your confirmation here's your um, your message that you were wanting so so bad to hear from so yeah it was it was incredible I gave her a big hug I mean she had no idea what she did for me until I told her I said that's that's just the most beautiful thing and it really made my day so yeah if you want something ask you know just ask that's all you have to do just put that energy out there I would, I would like to to hear from this person or I would like a message and usually I get dragonflies I get butterflies but this was a real live person with my mother's name <laughs> okay <laughs> so it was it was an awesome experience and my niece just jumped on here hi Paula I love you darling I love you so much Yes, we humans do love our confirmation, don't we, Karen? <laughs> Karen, thank you for being on here. I appreciate Karen so much. We, we co-create a lot of things together. And I just love that, um, that you're on here. And Karen will do one right after me at 6 o'clock. She'll be doing a, a global kindness going viral. And Karen's an amazing person, writer, um, teacher that teaches us so much so you know I was thinking I've been doing a lot of thinking lately <laughs> but I was thinking about my friend that just passed and I was thinking about my mother and the anniversary of her death and what came to me is how will I be remembered and this is what I want us all to think about how will I be remembered when I leave this earth plane you know we all came here for a purpose we all have a path we all are here shining our light out but how are, how will we be remembered are you really um, affecting other people are you sharing of the real you and letting people see you or are you hiding yourself behind a veil it's so important to let down that wall to let down the the curtain between you and other people and let them see what you're all about those people that are in your life do they know that you are a spirit or do they just see the physical you do they know that you meditate do they know how important your spiritual life is to you you know, I've had a lot of people that have fallen away from surrounding me because I show who I am. I walk my talk. You know, everywhere I go, I'm me. I'm me. I'm not a different person. Well, I'm a different person than I was years ago. <laughs> but in my everyday life, this is me. This is what you get. You know, what you see is what you get. So that's what I want you all to think about is how am I presenting myself to other people in my life? Do I like hide my candle so that they don't see that light burning brightly? Or am I a person that says, look, you know, this is what I'm all about. Love me or just, you know, don't have anything to do with me. That's up to you. This is me. This is how I am. And I think this is what we all are here for we're not here to um, play patty cake we're not here to tell people what they want to hear okay we can do that all day long we can tell people yeah everything's okay everything's hunky-dory and you know not not um, stir the pot not cause them to think about things but we're here to be that person that's the catalyst for other people to make changes in their life that's why we're here people if you're watching this right now that's why you're here in your human body you were drawn here for this message and I want to say hello hello Billy hello crystal fire I'm so glad you're out of the hospital and I hope you're doing good honey so what I'm saying is you're hearing this message this message is for you there's no coincidences that people show up where they show up whether they're listening to me on Facebook on my radio show wherever I'm at we are to be a catalyst we are to put that energy out there to make people think 
to make them say, why am I here? What's this all about? We're not here to say, you know, um, oh, it's okay. You don't have to, to do anything. You don't have to make any changes. Just keep doing what you're doing. Just, you know, people will love you no matter what you do. You know, are people going to remember you for sitting on your couch watching TV eight hours a day? Is anybody going to remember you for doing that? Or are people going to remember that you gave a kind word to them, that you gave a smile to them, that you lifted their vibration, that you sat and listened when they needed to talk, when they needed that, that uplifting? Will they remember you for that instead of you being so distant and hiding behind a veil? Watching TV all the time is hiding behind a veil. Um, keeping yourself secluded and not going out among other people, that's hiding behind a veil. And even if you're on Facebook, if you're on social media, get out. Get out and let people see the real you. Let them see that spirit that you are. Make a difference in the world. Make a difference. That's what we're here for. We are here to spread our light. And that light is so bright, it, it can't be contained. Once you find it, and once you start shining that light out, it's not going to be contained. Darkness can't put out your light, okay? There's a lot of darkness out there. We all know this. That's not news. There's a lot of dark things that happen. There's a lot of contrast in this world. That can't put out your light. You, with your light, are going to illuminate the darkness. So you're needed. You're needed to be around people. You're needed to share of yourself. If you're not sharing your energy, you're not sharing messages that come to you and things that you just know innately, as, as my dear friend Rory, shaman poet Campbell, says we have this innate knowledge of why we're here we know what our purpose is we like tune into that and we're like okay that's what i came here to do let me do it let me set about doing it and you know whether you're a newbie at sharing your message or you've been sharing it for years put that one foot in front of the other make step out of your comfort zone do something today that's going to put you out of that comfort zone of sitting on the couch or sitting in that chair and being on the computer all day. Make a change in your life for the good that's going to put you around other people and draw those other people to your light. That's why you are here. I want you to hear those words. You are here for a reason and that's why you're here. You are a catalyst of change. And that's why we're all here right now. There is such a need for our light. There is a huge need out there for our light. And the more we can bond our lights together by being around like-minded people, that light shines even brighter into the darkness. So why wouldn't you be around other people? Why would you seclude yourself and just sit and be passive? It's, it's time to stop being passive. Okay, that's a huge message that the angels wanted me to send today to all of you. It's time to stop being passive. This is a time for action. This is a time to bond together, to get involved. However you can get involved, whatever means you can do it, to get involved with a collective of energy that's pulling together to lift up the vibration. Things are happening at a rapid pace. A very rapid pace. The Earth's vibration is increasing. We all know this. Sevi and Ryan, when they went out to Mount Shasta and they sent those wonderful videos back to us of the things that were happening there and the people that were drawn together, we felt that energy all the way here where I'm at across the country. I felt the energy that was happening. The Earth's vibration is increasing. So places like Mount Shasta, Hawaii, all of those energy vortexes, we can actually feel the vibration increasing in all those places 
but it's going out all over earth. So the more that we shine our lights out and are around other people that are working to send out messages, you know, that's what the lives are all about. You all think, that, you know, maybe you think we just come on here and, you know, just have fun. We're having a party. And yeah, it's a fun, uplifting time. And it's, it's something that we as a tribe say, we're going to do this. We're going to send out a message. And that's what the lives are all about. The, these Facebook lives that we're doing, that I do, that Sebi does, that Rory does, Aaron and Norma, Karen Palmer, we're all sharing messages that are coming to us. Messages that we know can't be contained. We're not going to sit on our couch and be passive and let that message just die out with us. That message does not is not just for me. That message is for all of us. And that message was very loud and very clear. It's time to stop being passive. It's time to assert ourselves as the light workers, as the, the messengers. We are messengers, okay? And that's what it's all about, is sharing that out with everybody that we can, everybody we can affect with our messages. That's why we do the lives. In case you were wondering, that's what it's all about. <laughs> and we have people jump on. My beautiful Debbie Garcia, Miss Gratitude herself is on here. <laughs> okay, and who else? Yes, Sevi, thank you. One tribe, one love. That's what we are. You know, we're, we're part of the oneness. We're part of that great spirit that created everything. We are part of creator. And when you tune into that and you realize that's what you are, then you start meshing with other people. We start combining our energies. We start combining as a collective energy to lift up the vibration. And, okay, so I'm hearing some messages here. You're always alone. Okay, so... Hi, Ryan. So if you're feeling like you're always alone, okay, and, and maybe there are people that, um, you know, that really don't have the resources to get out of your house, reach out to people, not just on Facebook, not just on the computer. Get phone numbers of people that will support you, that you can actually talk to a live person on the phone. If you want my phone number, I will give it to you. I, you know, I have people that call all day long and I stop and I talk to them and I help people that are low in vibration. I also talk to people that are on the same vibrational level and, you know, really have a, a great uh, time expanding our energies. So if you feel like you don't have anybody and you have no means to get out and meet people live, let me know and I will give you my phone number. I will talk to you anytime. We can even talk face to face. You know, we have that technology now. Hi, Brian Biggs. Thank you for coming on. So absolutely, let me know if, if anytime you need me, anytime you need me. And if you have the means to get out of your house, if you're not physically, um, if you are physically able to get out of your house, I encourage you to get out in nature. Just take a walk. Um, my dear friend, Michael Brandy, he challenges us to one day walk to the mailbox, one day walk beyond the mailbox, and walk down your street. Anything that you can do to get out of what I call my cave, anytime you can get out of your cave and step out into nature, put your feet on Mother Earth, that's going to help your vibrational level. That's going to center you into Mother Earth's energy when you do that. Putting your bare feet on the earth is so grounding. You'll be able to feel that crystal center of Mother Earth as it comes up, as that energy comes up and, and just covers you with that wonderful earth energy. And I'm, I'm so glad that I got to see some of what Sevi and Ryan were doing out in Mount Shasta. That was just amazing. And I, I can only imagine you guys are probably just floating still from all of that 
uh, that happened to you out there going into the caves and sitting there doing that wonderful ceremony out on the mountaintop that just looked uh, amazing. Hi Maureen. Yes, absolutely Ruth. Put the energy out there. Put out there what you want. If you want to, to be around people that are your same vibrational level, that are like-minded with you, put that out there. Say, this is what I am manifesting. This is what I'm calling to me. This is what I desire to have is time with like-minded people who will lift up my vibration, not people who will drain it. There's a lot of, of energy drainers that, you know, that were around. But we can protect ourselves from that and we can call in those that are like-minded where we can um, just create together and pull in that wonderful energy together and really lift up the vibration. This is my encouragement to you and this is the message that the angels really wanted me to bring to you today is that it's time to stop being passive and just sitting still and not moving forward at all, no forward movement. That's being passive. That's not sharing your light. It's time for our lights to be shone, shone out there. Shine that light as brightly as you can. And if you need help getting your vibrational level up, just breathe. Breathe in. Breathe in that energy, that oxygen that is so needed inside of our body. Let that oxygen go to your brain. Wake that brain up. Say, hey, it's time for me to put one foot in front of another. It's time for me to do something, to take a step forward. It's time. This is the message. No longer can we just sit still and wait for other people to do the work. It's time for us to join in. You know, we can't just sit back and say, oh, there's Karen Palmer. Karen is wonderful at shining her light. She's going to reach so many people, and I'm just going to sit back and enjoy. There's Sevi and Ryan. You know, they're doing a wonderful job at reaching thousands and thousands of people every day. So I'm going to let them do their work, and I'll just enjoy it. There's Rory that comes on and, and is, is just like this lion that roars at us and we, we're we lifted up by his energy. No, it's time for you to be a Karen, for you to be a Sevi, for you to be a Rory. It's time for all of us to do this, not just one, not just a handful. It's time for us all to step into that person that we came here to be. It's time for you to stop and ask yourself, ask yourself, why did I come here? Why am I here? What am I doing? What difference am I making in the world that after I'm gone, after this body is long gone, who's going to remember that I was even here? It's time for you to make a difference. Dear friends, it's time for all of us to make a difference. Yes, absolutely, Sevi. Each soul came here. All of us came here with a purpose, with a reason. We made a contract to come here to say the things that we were here to say, to use our voices. If you're not using your voices, then open up that chakra. Open up the throat chakra. That's what it's all about. That's how we communicate to open up your throat chakra, breathe right into it. Breathe into that throat chakra and let those words flow. Once you open that energy field, oh my gosh, there's no stopping you then. When, you're, when your throat chakra is open, those words will flow out of you. They will. You know, when I come on here every day, I don't have a plan. I don't have a plan of what I'm going to say to you. I don't have an agenda written out. Sometimes I have a story I want to share with you. Yeah, I have I've, something that's happened during my day or something I've thought about. But I don't come on here and say, okay, the, I need to talk about this, this, and this. I let the angels just flow the messages through me. I ask them before I even go on the air, what do you, you know, just use me. Just use my vocal cords 
to put a message out there for whoever needs to hear it. And I know I have confidence because I set the intention that whoever needs the words will be here. Whoever needs to hear the message will hear it, whether they hear it while I'm on here live or they listen to it later. It doesn't matter. If they listen to it a week later, it's still going to have that same impact. That message is in this recording, and that's what will go out to all of you. No matter when you listen to it, no matter how many times you listen to it, the message is in there, and that's what comes through from the angels. All right, we have people that jumped on. Veronica Schultz, thank you for coming on here. I love you, I love you, I love you. Hi, Susan, Sammy. I love you and thank you for coming on. Thank you to all of you who shared this out. When you share this out, it reaches so many more people that need to hear the message. The angels told me this is the message that they wanted heard loud and clear today. That it's, it's time. It's time. You know, time... Um, yeah, time is something that we humans have developed, but we did develop it, and this is the time in our timeline that we developed, our linear timeline. Now is the time for us to step up. Now is the time to start sharing and no longer remain passive, no longer remain quiet, but to open up that throat chakra. Open it as wide as you can open it. And here's just a real simple way that you can do this. If you put your palms together, don't put them all the way together, but just in front of your throat chakra, which is right here, just start doing this, bringing the palms together, but not all the way. You will start feeling that energy. You will feel your own energy that's there. That's your, that's your throat chakra going all around your body at the level of your throat area. You can expand that as you're playing with that chi energy. You can expand that energy out. Just allow it. Allow the throat to open up. Allow that energy to open wider and wider. And to set the intention as you're doing this for any blocks to clear out of there. And right now I'm sending you all energy, healing energy for your throat chakras for them to open up. Karen's a time healer. Karen, would you please, with me, send out healing energy to anybody that's going to hear this, whether it's now or later. Energy to open up that throat chakra. Let it open as wide as it will open. Clear out any blocks that's blocking you from speaking your message, speaking your truth, using your authentic voice to let others hear what you have to say. Let your voice be heard. Let other people know you exist. Let them know that you're here. And when you leave this plane, when you leave this earth, they will remember the words you say. You know, we remember, we remember people like Wayne Dyer. We remember his words. When he said those great words, when you change the way you look at things, the way the things you look at change. We'll remember that. We don't have to go look it up somewhere in a book or not know it at all because he was huge. His spirit here was so huge and he allowed his light to shine to so many millions of people. Speak your words. Let people hear your message because we're all part of this. We're all part of the oneness and the message that we have inside of us needs to go out to others. I think this message today has touched a lot of people. I'm getting that. And Crystal Fire, I want you to know how loved you are. Ruth, I want you to know how loved you are. Any of the others of you that said that you're hurting, that you don't know um, how to be around other people, that you don't have any other people to be around, you are loved, you are not alone. You're not alone. You're so loved and so supported. And thank you to those who are reaching out to others on this very broadcast. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That is love in action. That is you being your authentic self. 
reaching out to somebody that put that message out that needed a helping word, a helping hand, that needed a hug. Let's all give energetic hugs to each other right now. Just as you're sitting there or standing, whatever you may be doing, send out an energy that feels like a hug would feel. Send that energy that you're holding in your heart out to everyone right now that's listening to this. And let all of us feel it. Let's feel that hug. Let's feel that love that's coming from deep in our heart space. Send it out everywhere to those that are in need of the hug and those that are just enjoying that energy of being hugged. Thank you. Thank you for lifting each other up. It's time. It's time. And you're so welcome. You all are so welcome. I'm just a vessel. I just come on here. I let the angels use me. I let them use my voice. And I just, I, I love being in spirit. I love that I can allow this and put out the messages that they bring through to me. You know, when I open my mouth, I don't know what I'm going to say. <laughs> I don't know what's going to come through. Whatever they bring through, that's what comes through. And sometimes I have to re-listen because I don't know what they're saying even. It's just channeled through me. And um, so I have to listen to it you know, again to get the blessing from it because I know that it's for all of us. It's all of us. We are all the same. We are a mirror of each other. If you're seeing something in me that you like, then that's something in you that you enjoy inside of yourself. If you see something in me that's irritating you and maybe you're not wanting to hear the message to, um, to start doing something, to stop being passive and to live your truth and live your life, then that's something in you that, that needs to be worked on. So this is how it works. This is how we are mirrors of each other. We're reflecting something back to you that says, um, okay, let me look at that a little closer. Let me look at why I'm feeling the way I'm feeling right now. So that's, that's all I am. I'm just your mirror. I'm just a channeler for the angelic messages. And that message today was so huge that it wasn't going to be contained. And thank you to all that came on and thank you to all that heard it and that are letting it resonate now inside of your soul. Let it just uh, boil in there for a little bit and say, hmm, am I doing what I came here to do? Am I living my truth and following my path and doing those things that I committed to doing in this lifetime? Okay, I'm not able to read all of the messages, but thank you. Thank you to all who are participating. And oh, thank you for those who reached out. Crystal Fire, I know you've been through a lot of stuff, honey. I know you've had a really rough time lately, and I want to lift you up. I love you. I ask for everybody to send Crystal some healing energy as well. We, you know, we're all healers. We all have the ability inside of us to heal. Hi, Irene. Um, so send some of that healing energy to Crystal right now, please. Send her that. <coughs> and yes, Karen, I did see your message. Karen is going on as soon as I finish this broadcast. She'll be going on and sharing out some, uh, some kindness and some love and peace. Karen and I are both peace ambassadors. And we're both involved in a project called the Prosperity and Peace Initiative. We're going to be doing some peace summits next month on Peace Day, September 21st. So we'll be sending out uh, more information about that. And Karen, I think you already posted or please post that link. Anybody that wants more information about the Peace Initiative, please follow that link. And you can be involved by either sharing out the message that is happening or doing something if you want to be part of it we would love for you to be part of this this project where we're going to make a master action plan that says we want peace we want people being kind to each other people accepting each other 
instead of looking at each other as separate and different. Maybe you don't talk the same language I do. Maybe uh, you're a different color than me. I don't care. It doesn't matter. What cares is who you are inside. And that's what we're trying to build up in the world is this acceptance and making that master action plan to take to the United Nations and say from all 196 nations, say we want peace. We don't want hatred and division. Hi, Tam. Oh, thank you. Yes, Global Love Day. And on the back, it says, love begins with me. I wear this a lot. I wear it out in public. I also do um, the I love you cards. I love you. Pass it on. And you can get these from I love you. Pass it on dot com. I, I give them to people. I gave it to a six year old today. This little boy was so cute. He was with his mom at the spiritual fair and he had he had a ton of questions he had so many questions about um trees so i talked to him about hugging trees and how trees were energy and i gave him this card i gave him an i love you pass it on card and he looked at that card and his whole face brightened up this is what it's all about people this is what i'm talking about we can't be passive any longer we can't hide any longer. Whether you have cards to pass out or you have words to say, let it happen. Get it out there. Get the message out there that there is so much love in our hearts. There's so much uh, from our spirit that we need to share with others. So start doing it. One foot in front of the other. Okay, maybe it's baby steps for you. Maybe you're not comfortable speaking to other people about spirituality take a baby step okay just find out um you know whether it feels right when you're around somebody if it feels right to approach them and say you know i love you sometimes that's hard for people to say but once you say it to one person and you share that energy with one person you're going to go oh that felt pretty good so then, you know, maybe you'll say it to somebody else. And this kid that I'm talking about, he was so cute. I was telling him that I pass these cards out wherever I go. I give them to my cashier at the, you know, at the grocery store. I give them to my bank teller. He goes, do you give them to strangers? And I said, yes, I absolutely do give them to strangers because you never know who might need that word. You never know. What people are going through on their journey you not you might not know that that crystal fire was just in the hospital and she needs our healing energy coming her way you may not know that somebody's sitting in their house depressed and all of a sudden there you are saying I love you I love you I don't know you it doesn't matter my soul knows you and I love you and that's the message that needs to get out there today. That's the message that I was told to pass on to you all today. So thank you. Thank you for being on here on the live and I hope you'll continue on to Karen's live. I want to take just a minute because I close every one of my happy hours with this, the same message of love and peace and joy and happiness. I want you to hold that energy in your heart. I'm going to play the the um, singing bowl. I have a Tibetan singing bowl. I play it for just a few minutes as we breathe in love and light and we breathe that back out into the world. Take it in. Take in all that energy. Everything I'm sending you right now, I'm sending you so much love. Take, Breathe it in. When you breathe in, let your lungs fill up and send it all through your body. And then when you breathe it out, breathe it to your family, your friends, your community. And keep doing that as I play. When I play this bowl, send it out to everywhere. Start local and then go global. Send it all over the world. Send it to Mother Earth. Mother Earth needs our love, needs our energy gathered together as a collective. We need to send love to Mother Earth. So I'm gonna play this for just a few minutes. Send out that love. I want to feel it. I want you to send it to me. I want to feel a whole wave of love coming my way 
and high vibration energy. So let's take a moment and breathe. If you can close your eyes, it makes it that much more powerful. But if you can't, I understand. But just breathe in and breathe out love. Love, joy, happiness, and peace. Let there be peace on earth and let it begin with me. Hi, Susie. Thank you for coming on. All right. So a few moments of happiness and love and joy. Yes, Betty, you're getting it right now. You're getting love, honey. Breathe in the love. Breathe in love. Breathe out love. Let it go everywhere, all over earth. Let it cover the earth with a blanket of love and peace. Let's find that joy in our lives. That felt so good. Thank you. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your light and for your energy. Thank you for being here today. Go make a difference in the world. Go share that light. It's time. It's time to stop being a passive person and start sharing out who you are and what you're all about. I love you. I love you all so much. I'll be back tomorrow at 5 o'clock. Karen's on next. Let's go join her and, and support her. Thank you all. Bye now.